Hi everyone, Tusha Pinkfist here. Welcome to my latest tips video. This week I'm sharing five essential tips to help you on your adventures in the creatures of Ava. If you haven't checked out my recent review video yet, here's a quick overview. Creatures of Ava is an exciting action adventure game where you save creatures similar to Pokemon and Temtem. You play as Vic, our local hero, who heals, tames and rescues creatures using her trusty flute all in a bid to save the planet from a life-consuming infection. Watch to the end of the video to see the most important tip of all. Let's dive into tip one. As well as finishing the main quests, always finish your rescue missions. They may seem optional, but they are not, as these will be needed to continue the story and into the next biomes. It will be worth doing these quests alongside the main quests to save time. So, Fizz, what are these rescue missions, you may ask? Well, in each biome, for example, in the grasslands, there are five creatures to rescue. The Kraj, Ohol, the Ura, Hoo Hoo, and the Tama. I hope I've pronounced them correctly. On the map, you'll see these little signal-looking icons. If you scroll over the icon, it will show you which creatures are available in that area. Really useful if looking for a particular creature to save. Using the flute, play the appropriate tune and lead the creatures to the little bots in these signal areas. You can then click F and beam them up into space so they are saved. Hopefully. Tip 2. Don't ignore those side missions. Each side mission can reward you with important and useful items such as the backpack pockets which will increase the size of your inventory, health kits which increase your health and stamina kits. Well, you guessed it, will increase your stamina. These items are useful to strengthen Vic, especially if playing on a harder difficulty. You will also gain research points to go towards those important skills and also some interesting backstory information. Tip three, complete the creature tasks. Each creature, such as the Kraj, have varying creature research tasks that you can do. For example, take a photo of a healthy Kraj or use a Kraj co-op ability. When these creature research tasks are completed, you will gain interesting information about the creatures and also important research points. Tip 4. Focus on upgrading more than one skill. As you can tell, you obtain research points from most things you do in the game and these go towards skill points which help you advance and progress Vic through the story. Reason why doing all these missions are so important. When choosing where to put your skill points, don't just apply them to one or two skills. There will be some encounters that require to use majority of all the skills. So utilize all the skill points if you can. Tip five, last tip. Capitalize using all your consumables. The consumables help you survive, so don't underestimate them. There are different essences in the game that are green, white and gold ones for instance which are obtained when harvesting the plants scattered around the map like the Roseram here where you collect green essence as you can tell by the relevant icon to craft these consumables you will first need to unlock a warm invitation mission when this is completed find a campfire and this is where you begin to craft in these campfires use the relevant essences to craft consumables for example the healing brew and the antidote so don't neglect collecting these essences, as it's always useful having an abundance of these in your inventory. And if you don't have room, you can store them at the campfires, which are happily linked to each other. Okay, there is a sixth tip. I did say I was going to leave the best tip to last. The most important tip for me, I think, is don't forget to pet those creatures. Apart from the gorgeous effects and graphics, we all need a hug at some point. I hope these five, um, six tips help you in, in your gameplay. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a subscribe to stay updated with, with more reviews and tip videos. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Creatures of Ava. And thank you for watching and take care.